if you have siblings, you understand the like little kid like sibling bath thing. Um, and I was taking a bath with my baby sister, and she thought that I took a a, a carrot with me into the bathtub, and it basically just became like a family joke. Only I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't the one laughing, uh, but I've overcome now. It's a funny thing now. I was at a track meet, and I was getting ready to run this relay, and I was the first leg. Well, you know how they shoot the gun. Well, I was already really nervous. My boyfriend and all his friends were watching me about to start this race, and on your marks, get set. Well, he didn't have enough ammo, I guess, whatever, in his gun to shoot it. And so then that delayed the process. So, of course, my nerves just kept rising and rising and rising and rising. And before you know it, I have pee dripping down my leg, and <laughs> he comes back with the ammo, pees everywhere. My boyfriend and all his friends are laughing because we're in eighth grade and everyone's immature. And I run the fastest race I've ever run in my life, and then I was embarrassed for it the rest of my life. And here I am, 21, and they still call me Puddles. Didn't know what sex was. I was like seven or eight, didn't know. And I invite, <laughs> I, Went around and invited my whole class to a sex party. Um, super awkward, got called into like the principal and then the parents there and they're like, do you know that your son's inviting people to a sex party? And they're like, Taylor! And I'm like, what? But I knew I had to do something with guys and girls so I just assumed that's like what it was. If you invite girls and guys to a party, it was a sex party. And so you know, it was bad for like two years. Everybody, like the kids' parents would be like, that was the kid who invited my kid to a sex party. Yeah. Sad. My parents were really embarrassed for me. I was eight years old at Disneyland at this restaurant and one of the gimmicks of the restaurant is the, there's a host that goes around the tables trying to embarrass people. And I went to the bathroom and did my thing, washed my hands, um, came back and the host saw me coming back. He was like, hey, did you just go to the bathroom? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, did you wash your hands? I was like, yeah. And he said, what color was the soap? I didn't remember. And so he was like, ah, oh, and he had me come back to the kitchen in front of the whole restaurant and pretend to wash my hands um, because he had made everyone think that I hadn't washed my hands. And to this day, more times than not, I will check to see what color the soap is whenever I go to the bathroom.